Hello again. Um, I think this is one of my most important videos. Um, my hope for this video is that the story cuts to your heart, like it cut mine when I lived through it. I thought I had committed my life to Jesus and his church, but then I felt the Lord ask me this simple question. Do you love me? Do you really love me? I had a surprisingly hard time answering that question. And if you're anything like me, this might be a painfully convicting video, but I promise you it is worth it. This video is the story of the path that the Lord took me down that I'd like to challenge and invite you to take. Please spend this next five minutes with me. Think about who or what you really love. Well, how would anyone know? There's probably many ways, but to me, there's two primary ones. The first is where we spend our time. If someone or something is important to you, then you will spend a lot of time with that person or thing. The second is our willingness to sacrifice for that someone or something. The greater the love we have for something, the greater our willingness should be to sacrifice for it. Jesus is our ultimate example, sacrificing his life for you and me purely out of his love for us. So think about the someone or something in your life that you love. I'm sure spending time with them and sacrificing other things that you value for them is pretty easy. Think about your spouse, family, friends, the most important people in your life. Then think about the things in your life that are important to you. Maybe it's playing an instrument or exercising. Maybe it's a hobby or reading or cooking, anything you might be passionate about. Now, what if you only spent one hour per week on any one of those? Only one hour with your family and loved ones. One hour per week practicing your violin or reading something or something other things that you are passionate about. Would that be enough time? Oh my gosh, no, right? Don't you give up or sacrifice some things in your life that take up your time so that you can spend time on the people and things you love or that are important to you? Well, absolutely. So why then is one hour per week visiting Jesus at mass enough? This is the question I felt burning in my heart. I tried to push it away because it was so convicting, but I just couldn't. It was as if Jesus was asking me, if I'm as important as you say I am to you, and if you love me as much as you say you do, then why are you only spending one hour on Sunday with me? I offer you the most personal and intimate relationship with me. I offer you my body and blood every single day at mass and yet you only come once per week. Why is that? If only spending one hour with your family per week would be completely unacceptable, then why is it acceptable for me, your Lord and Savior? This cut me to the heart. I felt like I got a glimpse, a very tiny little glimpse into what Peter must have felt like when Jesus asked him three times, Peter, do you love me? I got to admit, I felt guilt, shame, and that I was all talk and no walk. And it's not like I had a good excuse. How many of us spend hours per day on our phones playing video games, unnecessarily working, or watching TV or some other things? I had no excuse. If I loved Jesus like I thought I did, why wasn't I spending more time with him? I just simply didn't have a good answer. If I really loved the Lord as I knew I did, if I believed in the Eucharist as deeply as I knew I did, then it was time for me to act like it. So about 20 or so years ago, I decided that I would go to daily mass during Lent that year. That experience was so profound for me. My love for Jesus in the Eucharist grew so much that 20 years later, I still go to daily mass. Just like I hated to be out of town on business away from my family for even one day, I feel the same way about mass. I hate missing that intimate encounter with the Lord for even a day. And every single mass, I'm still awestruck that Jesus has called me, that he summons me, me, a sinful, arrogant, hyper-competitive son of a gun, to join his apostles at my Lord's Supper, because that's what's happening at Mass. Just like the apostles, 
I receive the body, blood, soul, and divinity of my Lord. It is true what we say at Mass. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. And Jesus is calling you too. Start small. Go to Mass an extra day per week. You'll soon find it's not enough. And you'll need, you'll want to go another day, then another. You want your life to change for the better? You want your life to have greater fulfillment? You want protection from the devil's attacks on you? Go to Mass as frequently as you can. I promise you that your life will never be the same because you are experiencing heaven on earth and encountering our Lord in the most personal, intimate way possible. As always, God bless you on your faith journey.